Hi, my name's Jose from Simply Beef and Lamb, and let me tell you now how to make the best gravy for your roast dinner. Here in this pan, we have some of the juices that have come out from the meat cooking. On top of that, we've also got a trivet of some vegetables where the meat have been sitting on top of it. We don't want to waste any of that. Using a slotted spoon, remove all the onions. In this particular pan, we've got red onions and garlic, which is going to add all to the flavour of the gravy that we're going to make. If you just tilt your tin carefully to one side, you'll see that all of the juices are running down the pan, but we're going to remove all this excess fat on the top. So take a bowl, take a spoon, and very carefully remove the fat. You can see the fat there. This could take you a little while to do, but don't hurry it. Now what we're left with is all of the meat juices on the bottom of the tray with the sediment. So let's put that onto the stove, and now we make our gravy. So we're adding a tablespoon of flour, plain flour into here, and we start mixing it up to make a base roux. And this roux will then basically give the thickness and the body to our sauce. Half a pint of stock. This is beef stock. You could use any type of stock. It's already starting to smell great. Change over now to a whisk. Don't worry about it becoming a little bit lumpy at this point. Washing the bottom of the pan away to get all of the sediment out. As it's coming to boil now, we're gonna add our wine. We've got about half a pint of wine as well. We need to basically burn away some of the alcohol that's in the wine, otherwise we get a, a horrible alcohol flavor that we don't want. We want the flavor of the wine, but nothing else. If you don't want to use wine, instead of using half and half of wine stock, just use a whole pint of stock. It's just starting to thicken nicely. One of the reasons it has to cook out is because otherwise the flour won't be cooked properly. Don't allow it to sit for too long because it could stick. Now it's starting to boil nicely, it's cooked out, we're going to pass it. Just pass your gravy through that. Look at that. So here we've got a fantastically smooth velvety gravy, ready to go with our roast. That's going to be fantastic. If you're looking for some more ideas of fabulous roast, click here.